you can't fault them. They went eight, nine innings without, without a run, so. Yeah. It was a luck, it was a fluke. We, you could play, we could have played them 99 more times and probably never won another one. Really? And the, the community was very high on the team at that time. They uh, followed us. Since its development, baseball has been a part of the traditions of America. During the 1950s, South Dakota had over 300 amateur baseball teams. Almost every large and small town put their best athletes on the field in hopes of winning the prestigious state title. In 1950, a small team from Condi, South Dakota took out the reigning champs. The game still lives on in history and for a few souls, it just seems like yesterday. wanted and then I went to 18 merchants or and I got 18 uniforms but I promised them that I wouldn't let a uniform out unless I got $20 for it for what it cost and they turn it into me in the fall they get their $20 back and that brings us to Earl Grand Prix he graduated from Condi High School and he went to war in World War II and he came back with the idea to start this baseball team, and it changed so many people's lives. I was in the Mar Army about 18 months. I got discharged in November, just on Thanksgiving Day, and I went directly to Northern, because of the, on the GI Bill. And I did one quarter, they had quarters and they didn't, they didn't go in thirds. And I furnished one quarter, and my brother, who was farming with my dad, decided that he wasn't going to farm anymore. He said they couldn't make it go on one paycheck a year. Get it financed is the main thing. We didn't have a uniform, we didn't have any bats, we didn't have any balls, we didn't have actually nothing. The reigning state champs were the Aberdeen Preds team. They had won three years in a row and were predicted to go all the way to the state title in 1950. Well, we knew they were good ball players, and the record said that, you know. Well, I played many years of amateur baseball with different teams. Uh, probably the best team I played with I was a pickup player from Preds. I thought was uh, probably the best team. Well, he pitched a hell of a game, that's about all you can say. He, uh, uh, he, had, he had good backup, I mean, but uh, 
He had their number. He was a good pitcher. He won a lot of games for us. But he didn't make transfer to the Reds. And nobody blamed him for it. Nobody. There was no animosity or anything when he went there. He did it, and he was quick, and he uh, uh, he got the job done. Uh, and he didn't look like a ball player in my mind, but he he was. Now, the inning before, the boys on the bench. I wasn't watching Mac much, but the boys on the bench said he's creeping up too far. He's creeping up too far, and and Jerry Hernan. Larry, uh, Norburn, says, I'm going to swing for his glove. I'm going to get on. He's for a lead-off batter. And he swung for the glove, and he tipped it. I think he hurt Mac's hand some. But he all went to right field, and it would have been an easy single. But he wasn't running, and he was arguing with the umpire. But they finally awarded him first base. Then Lyle Birch come up and grounded to the pitcher, which I think was uh, Heinzman. And he overthrew second. So we ended up with a man on Norm on third and Lyle on second. I'm not sure. The Condi baseball team was a team that had very little in the power hitting capacity. However, they played as a team, and they won as a team. A coach who was near where I was, I was coaching third base, and our manager said to, uh, to Big Erky, Big Pete Erky, that uh, go in and hit. And Pete really, I really immediately rejected it and said, he, they'll walk me if you put me in now. First base open, they'll walk me. So let's see if you can't get another man on or another hit first. So the next man I think struck out, so it was up to Erky. Well, the big bat, he, I don't know whether he got a longer bat or what he got, but he went to the, Brian, he dropped his two he was swinging, went to the bat rack and came back with another bat. Now they all say a long bat, well it might have been. It could have been an inch longer than the average club we had there. That's, uh, but anyway, on the third pitch, he reached out and got a bloop single, and that was the game. I don't know, some claim he stepped on the base, some others don't, but anyway, he didn't get called for it, except on the plate. I think about it once in a while, you know, to, I don't know how I feel about it. I, uh, I've, uh, I've watched my teammates die, I mean, and that concerns me. But uh, we, uh, all I can say is we in the community had a good time. We were, we were doing well for our country team. And, uh, and we just so happened to get Pete by Condi, who was a very good team, and uh, I, I was going to check it out, but I didn't. But I think he, I think he played another year for Condi after that game, and I think he. Tried his second time at the Preds and it didn't work. I think I'm right on that. He did pitch. He did pitch for 157. Huh? The, the, the year they won the state tournament again, in 1957, Gary Fence was on that team. 57? On the Preds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. He got mixed up with the war there and had to leave someplace along the line. He went to Korea. Yeah. yeah. Haskell went to Korea too.
you know? What would be like just one thing that you think would be important for people to know that maybe we haven't covered about, whether about the game itself or camaraderie with the guys, that kind of a thing? Well, I, it was it was a great ball game. There was good ball played that day, and uh, the fans are right there with us. And, uh, that's about all I can think of. The gate game to remember, yes, I remember it quite well. I think, and uh, I don't know. Century farming was a laborious task with a dream of rich harvests to gain. Surviving the winter with anticipation and a vision of just playing the game. The farmers and the farmhands would take to the fields and pitch hay by day, baseball by night. Farm Club was born right after the war to give hope and a lingering light. 